What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with the next war recap video and this one was a tough one for the Hive against Dark Looters. Uh, as you can see there, did not get the win by three stars nonetheless. Uh, it was rough. It really, we'll talk about some more in a minute, but good job to Dark Looters. Like seriously, they brought a strong game plan, strong execution. You'll see there they got all of our uh, 11s three-starred, or excuse me, two-starred. Uh, several of our 10s three-starred, only left a couple on the board. And all nines cleaned up. They did require some dip attacks, but not nearly as many as we did. Uh, you'll see there one of the 11s left with a star on there. Did get some Town Hall 10. Three stars left. Uh, what was that? Three Town Hall 10s on the board, but also left this Town Hall 9 on the board. Um, and that was after a boatload of dips. Uh, so just a, just a ridiculously rough war. Um, some of it was just really, really poor performance, and some of it was just a little bit of, I guess, call it bad luck, whatever you want to call it. Our Town Hall 9s had 14 out of 38 attacks that were 90-plus percent non-three stars. Uh, so, you know, there was some good attacks that just didn't quite go our way, but uh, it was it was just rough, man. It was rough all around that, combined with some poor performance, uh, and it was just sort of over. So, again, congratulations to Dark Looters. Uh, great group of guys and girls. Very strong war clan. Did an excellent job, but just was not our day for sure. Uh, you know, we'll learn from it. We'll, we'll get better from it. Hopefully, we'll uh, get get refocused. You know, we were on, on a tear, and I think everybody just thought we were going to uh, continue on that tear without without um, putting in the time. And, uh, you know, that just doesn't work that way. So, I, I always compare it to, like, a, a sports team analogy. Uh, sometimes the team just doesn't play good. And this weekend, we just didn't play good. Uh, but hopefully next next weekend we will. So uh, let's get to some attacks here, though. We did have some really, really nice ones. Uh, look at Jimmy. On number 10, this was a fresh hit. Fresh hit, three-star. So when this one went down, uh, it was still pretty early in the war. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be good. You know, we're, we're, we're going to be on fire again. Uh, and a lot of our 10s and, and 11s were. Uh, but so many dip attacks required. We just didn't have enough to go around up top. Uh, comes on the left side here with the wizards taking out that army camp, and then up top here with uh, some more trying to create the funnel. That's all he's doing here, making sure everything's going to go in where he wants it to. Uh, look at this base. These bases were were really anti ground bases, and he went ahead and went with, the, with the ground attack and got the job done. Uh, some of our guys did go with air attacks and got really close on some three stars. Just didn't quite happen. Mega Mo Money, I remember one of hers. Uh, it was a great. Um, it was a great air attack. You know, you don't see a lot of air attacks anymore, and these guys were really defending against the ground. They got spread out the air defenses or how spread out the Inferno Towers are. I mean, they're really not even thinking air here. Uh, but, again, Jimmy does, does a good job with it. He just comes in, opens that wall up, lets the queen in with the queen walk there, uh, drops the rage down, lets her you know, stay up when she's got all of that point defense on her, and now that the CC troops are coming out to, towards her. So she's got a ton of damage coming her way here. So you're going to have to keep those healers raged up for sure. Uh, as soon as that one starts to wear off, drops another one wise, wisely done there. Uh, and then now it's the Valk time. Coming in with the Valks up top here, just going to let them beat through these walls. I mean, these walls are, you know, Lego walls. These Valks are going to tear through them in seconds. Uh, so here they come right into this first Inferno Tower uh, compartment. Going to go in with a king there. Uh, the queen's still stepping up, still doing the tanking for all of those Expos. So that's good. And there the Valks got the first one coming through, pops that Queen's ability. The healers have peeled off here, but unfortunately they're getting taken out by this air defense. So losing some healers here. Second jump spell goes down. Some hogs coming in from the top side. Take out that little section that just sort of everything skirted around. Uh, but right here, these Valks get into this last section with the Inferno Tower. Take out a few defenses, working their way that direction. Unfortunately, there is a lot of buildings there. There's a lot of stuff to distract and uh, you know keep them keep them occupied uh, while that Inferno Tower is just dealing out damage. Queen comes back on the left side though. She does have a he couple healers on her now, so she's getting healed back up until that Inferno get Tower gets on her. And now the last few hogs coming through on that uh, Inferno get on it, do a little bit of damage, but it's the Queen that gets the last shot on it, uh, just barely. And then right there, as she walks, starts to walk away, the cannon takes her out, unfortunately. But that put some healers onto that hog, which sort of goes super hog on them. Pops the king's ability, and now it's just a matter of cleanup. A uh, little bit of spread, but he's got some cleanup troops. Just really, really nice. Again, for a fresh attack, I was impressed. I thought it was super nice attack. Good job, Jimmy. All right, that was the only 10 versus 10 three-star we had, so we are going to dip down to some Town Hall 9 action now. Uh, Doofy Dork, doing what Doofy Dork does, which is this uh, this Go-Ho, or this Go-Wee, excuse me, Go-Wee attack uh, with just a bunch of jump spells. You know how he does it. Just jump spells around the base, walks these uh, golems, the, ki the heroes, the wizards, just walks them around the base, jumping them into compartment to compartment, and then when he gets to the to the backside, uh, excuse me, when he gets to the 
King and Queen in there, puts them in, takes out that defending Queen, the CC troops, and then that's pretty much that. Just lets it sort of develop, keeps reinforcing where it needs it. It's got a couple of balloons for the for the backside as well. So here comes the first few golems going in. The Queen's already down, uh, so she's taking out some trash and stepping up there. Uh, the enemy Queen has engaged one of the golems, but here's the Queen coming over. She's going to take her out, so that's good. Uh, wall breakers go in, let them all start traveling into the base. He's got lots of wizards backing them up. Uh, and then I believe he's going to drop the king here in just a moment, if I remember right. Uh, taking out the town hall, and then just going to start working their way out. Obviously, he's got a nice jump spell location there you can put down uh, to continue them moving into those next compartments. Here comes the CC troops. Uh, the jump spell goes down the next golem on the right side there with more wizards behind it. Everything is sort of wrapping around really nicely right now. Uh, the troops that he wants to go into the core are going. Uh, the angle is nice. Everything's just looking pretty solid right here. Uh, Queen is hanging back, just basically undamaged, taking out defenses and, and trash buildings as she goes along. Uh, another jump spell to let that golem and those wizards into the base, and then wall breakers on the corner there to let that final golem uh, and reinforcing it, we get even more wizards. So he's got a lot of golems going through here. There's the major threat, the Tesla farm, the expo, the wizard tower, that area right there. Queen has sort of got off on her own here and taken damage, unfortunately. She should have stuck in right behind him. Pops that ability. Uh, gets through this wall, and then she's probably going to go down here, if I remember right. Uh, does take out this archer tower, but she is taking uh, taking a lot of damage there. Not a whole lot of life left. Next jump spell goes down. It's going to let him into this danger compartment, but they start tearing through it pretty quickly. The king's in there. Uh, the wizards are starting to back up. Uh, the, the golems, everything is going down. As soon as he gets all this taken care of, he's going to be in great shape because there's only a few defenses left. And remember, he does have those, uh, he does have those balloons in the bag, so... Uh, Queen somehow still made it and still helping out here. Just a sliver of life left. Uh, last few defenses going down as those golemites and golems are getting very thin, uh, but just a, just enough left to get the three star. Awesome job, and doofy dork. All right, moving down a couple here. Uh, let's check out H bottom. H bottom on number seventeen. Going to the air. I like it. I uh, got a couple of baby dragons. He's got some lava hounds. He's got some balloons. I just got a lot of balloons and a zap quake. So that's cool. These baby dragons are really good. We talked about it before at creating these funnels. You just, I mean, sort of, you know, work free. You just drop them in there. They're strong enough, even with some with an archer tower or something on them. They can take out quite a few trash buildings uh, and create that nice funnel for you. So uh, CC troops coming out. It is a wizard and a baby dragon. Uh, so they're going to come out and, and deal with these little baby dragons out here. Uh, they'll get a little damage down. Uh, and then he's going to have to come up to the top. He's got some archers bringing them up there. And goes and drops the queen and the king in. Uh, a lot of damage coming their way. Boom, they are gone. Now it's just about getting in there, getting that queen taken care of. He's already zapped, quaked in the core, got that one air defense down. So really it's just the CC troops and the queen that he's after here. Obviously there's some archer towers that are a bonus that he's going to get going into this location. Uh, so that's good. Pops the queen's ability on that Valk to come out. They did a lot of damage. Uh, and then the queen's going to get what she can. And now it's just lava hound time. Coming in from the top with the with the max one out of the out of the uh, CC, just raging him up. He's got four rage, or excuse me, hay spells. Four hay spells. He's dropping down, uh, just working that uh, counterclockwise motion, working around the base. Really good timing on his balloons. Uh, he's saving on, holding on to those hay spells for now. Uh, he's already on to that uh, air defense, so he wants it to go down. Boom! It goes down there. Tesla start popping, and now he is letting that one propel its way through, soaking up all those traps. Good timing on that because the injured one uh, took both of those black bombs, and now the fresh one is right on top of the air defense. Perfect timing on that. Beautiful. Uh, probably the reason he got the three star, to be perfectly honest, because this was a pretty close attack, if I remember right. Uh, so coming in from the bottom with m yet more um, balloons, and now Lava Hounds, he's cutting across the base with that weakened Lava Hound. Uh, just barely gets to that air defense, takes a few shots, and the last one hovers over it. Unfortunately, if that other one had gotten there, just um, just made it one more step further, that sweeper hadn't have been there, uh, it would have soaked up both of those black bombs. But that time didn't quite get there before it died, and it did not get them soaked up. So the fresh one got it, and now they all, uh, you know, he exploded into pups. But now it's just a few more defenses left. Uh, that sweeper is causing a little bit of trouble. Uh, but the balloons are going to get the job done. We'll fast forward here. As I said, not a lot of balloons left when this is all said and done, but had plenty of pups, plenty of cleanup. There's the three star. Nicely done to H bottom. Okay, dropping down even more here. 21, crazy moving. Another air attack. I like it. A double zap quake this time. You can see there he does have a couple of uh, a couple of ADs that are right 
close enough to get that, that Quake and touch both of them, and he gets a sweeper for it. So two air defenses and a sweeper with a double zap Quake, very good value right there. Uh, dropping down that one baby dragon, some wall breakers, the king, the queen, just going to push in, get this next air defense taken care of. That's going to be three out of four done with, uh, so he's going to be looking pretty good for this air attack. Obviously, the dragons are for the top here with this queen, going to take her out, and then it's just about lava hounds and balloons for the rest of the base. So King's in. He's going to take out that air defense. In one more swing. There it goes. Dragons are in. They're coming in right on top. Look at how he threw these baby dragons in to back him up there. Queen just explodes. She's gone. And now he can go ahead and send this Lava Hound in and start in with his balloons. He sent the CC Lava Hound in first, and then he let all those bombs. Look at all those traps. Uh, now here comes the second one. It's going to start soaking up any other traps that are in the way, and then just start tanking for these balloons as they work their way through. The queen has wrapped around uh, the baby dragons and the, and the big dragons. Uh, doing their job up top. That is all cleared out, and now the last few balloons go down into this Tesla farm. Uh, finally, his Lava Hound goes away, so he's got no more tankage, uh, but that, those balloons finally take out that, that Air Sweeper, which was causing him a little bit of trouble, and now it's just about Teslas. So if he can get these Teslas done, he's got it, and those uh, those uh, dragons, or actually baby dragons, are getting sniped by this Expo. This is going to be super close, uh, but he does have the one big dragon up. He does have some pups up. He does have a couple baby dragons up, and it's just enough to get the job done. You see that Expo was taking all of those troops out on the left side, let the dragon sneak in the back side. And I mean, look at that. It was close, guys. This is, I mean, think about how close, how many attacks, 14 uh, attacks that were 90 plus percent non three stars. And then you have attacks because they're just so, so close that actually did get three stars. So the whole, the whole thing was pretty crazy. Uh, 23, Nicholas. I think there's another one that was pretty close if I remember right. Just a Goho. No no healers, no Valks. Uh, we talked about how rare these are these days, but they do still work. Uh, comes in from the top. The three golems go down, uh, dropping in the wizards behind there, creating that funnel. Everything's just sort of congregating around this mortar, unfortunately, but that's okay. Wallbreakers go in. That's going to start opening that up and let the let the golems inside the base. He's got the jump spell to let him into the core, and obviously over cut across towards that queen. Uh, here comes a few bowlers out of the CC to back everything up as well. Several of them go in. One goes for a walk. That's unfortunate. But he's going to get a little trash for his trouble there. So there's the jump spell. Uh, the poison for the CC troops. They'll get taken care of. And there's the rage to get everything just moving through, taking all this stuff out and get over to that queen as quickly as possible. Nice poison onto her as well. Uh, a couple of hogs for these distracted defenses. That's good. Queen's doing her thing on the backside there. He's getting some good value out of these bowlers. More hogs coming in right here. He does have two heal spells left and quite a few hogs. 11 hogs still. Uh, so has not even healed any of them up yet. Just letting them take this out. Again, a lot of those inner defenses are distracted uh, by the golem, by the king, the queen. Actually, the king's dead now. By the queen. Uh, there's the first heal spell right on top of that enemy king. But the queen is sniping him. Almost gets him down. She has to run around the wall to get another angle. And boom, finally takes him down. And now he is starting to deploy the rest of his hogs from the bottom. Uh, again, trying to just reinforce where he needs to because he wants to make sure when he drops this last heal spell, he's getting maximum value for it, that he's getting all of his hogs, if not most of them, in the heal spell. He is running low on hogs at this point, though. You see those skeleton uh, still there beating on him a little bit, and he's you know got some damage coming to him. He still has the heal spell. hasn't dropped it yet, uh, but he's going to have to drop it now. He got that last uh, giant bomb going off there. Uh, the X bow is very low, but here it goes. All these hogs are low. There he goes. He drops the heal spell down, keeps them up as long as he possibly can. But look how close this attack is. He's got a bowler. He's got the queens. He's got the wizards up. Uh, but he is basically out of hogs at this point. We'll fast forward because it's going to be really slow. That last hog just, I mean, almost taking out that cannon. Not quite. But as soon as his queen gets to the wall, she'll be able to handle it. Uh, but another nail biter for sure. So awesome job to Nicholas with the three star there. They have to come down to the bottom and grab this uh, grab this builder. And I'm sure it was probably close on time. I didn't look, but I am sure it was pretty tight. All right, one more for you guys. All the way down to number 27 right there. Tref Daddy uh, taking this one out with the standard Go Vaho, Queen Walk. You know, normal stuff that we see. Uh, war in and war out, but still a very nice attack. Uh, let's see, where did he come on this one? Tref, where'd you go, buddy? On the bottom here. Dropping the queen in, or dropping the healers. Look at the angle on the healers, guys. Uh, when you're trying to get a queen to go a certain way, you want to leave the healers in that direction so the healers don't lag as far behind and start dragging into the base. It's very important. It's a very overlooked thing. A lot of times people do attacks and they don't think about it. They drop the healers right on the queen or right behind the queen or maybe sometimes even on the wrong side of the queen, on the top side in this, in this scenario where they would start... Uh, they would start dragging behind even further immediately, and it would be bad. Look how close that queen got. Whoa, he's got nerves of steel. I mean, it was like I almost for one moment didn't think I saw her any life bar left. Uh, but he drops the rage down and the poison for the CC troops and gets her healed back up.
Now she's wrapping around, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. She's coming into range of this air defense, and it is going to get onto her healers, but it is, uh, you know, not a lot he can do about that uh, as deep as it into the base. Cause the queen just cannot reach it. It is what it is. Uh, so right here, she's going to wrap around the corner. In just a moment, you'll see right there the air defense does get onto the healers, starts taking them down. Uh, but up top, he's got his king. He's got his golem. I'm sorry, I should have shown that earlier. They were on the queen, taking that out. Uh, she's done with the voucher going in and the jump spell to let him into the core. He's got the 15 hogs, so that's good. Queen finally goes down as he loses enough healers there on the, on the bottom side. Uh, so the Valks and the King are all sort of on their own up top with the backup of these healers. As soon as they can get in here and start triggering some of these giant bombs, because he only has the one heal spell. He's got to be careful here uh, where that gets dropping. With the Tesla's popping there, he really had no choice. He had to go ahead and put the heal spell down. He does, but look how open this base is. I mean, there's a lot of giant bomb possible spots that these hogs are going to have to trace through. Uh, he does have Valks left. He does have the King left, so that's a big help. But right there, double bomb set. Boom. Loses probably four or five hogs. Uh, he's only got a few left. He's dropping them in from the bottom here. The King over there triggering a bomb. That's good. Uh, triggering the second bomb. So now these hogs are relatively safe. Uh, they just have to worry about the damage coming from the defenses, but he's only got three hogs left at this point. So very low. Fortunately, not a lot of damage left. Only the expo, and it is focused on these uh, this Golemite and these Valks and all of that. So these hogs are able to slip in. Uh, some small bombs going off and some skeletons finally polish them off uh, all but one. Uh, but again, look how close this attack was, guys. It's crazy. I mean, it was like this all war. It was just that close. Uh, but Drift had to get the job done. Beautiful job. All right, again, awesome job to Dark Looters. Congratulations on the win. Big win for them. Uh, I'm sure they pumped, and they should be. Uh, one hive, we will just have to go back to the drawing board and figure out what we did wrong in this war and make sure it doesn't happen going forward. Hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Until next time, Jake from One Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.